right now there are some great dividend stock investment opportunities in the preferred equity segment of the financial market. Preferred shares are higher on the capital slack than common shares and as a result they enjoy greater safety. However, because they don't participate in the growth of the company, they have recently faced significant selling pressure as investors became concerned over the higher inflation and the surging interest rates. This has caused many preferred shares to crash and as a result they now commonly trade at high dividend yields and large discounts to their par value. I think that this is a great investment opportunity for 2024 because inflation has now been brought back under control and interest rates are expected to be cut in the near term. I believe that this is a strong catalyst that should push share prices a lot higher so now could be your last chance to buy preferred shares at large discounts and secure these high dividend yields. But which are the best to buy today? Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I'm a CFA charter holder, but not a financial advisor. So make sure to do your own research. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I want to highlight to you three of our favorite preferred shares to buy for 2024. But before I get into it, could you please do me a huge favor and click the like button. That really helped me a lot to grow this channel and produce this content for you. Thank you so much in advance. So the first opportunity that I want to discuss here are the Series O preferred shares of Gladstone Commercial. They are currently priced at a roughly 25% discount to par, they offer an 8% dividend yield and up to 30% upside potential as they eventually return to their par value. I believe that this is a great risk to reward considering that this is a fairly defensive rate. After selling a lot of their office buildings in recent years, they now generate about 60% of their revenue from industrial properties that enjoy growing rents. Moreover, most of their properties are under triple net leases with very long lease terms that should result in consistent and predictable cash flows even if we go into a recession. Finally, the company is not heavily impacted by the recent surge in interest rates because it has no major debt maturities until 2026. The management of the REIT also has a lot of skin in the game, they have a good track record and they are well aligned with shareholders. Therefore, I believe that the REIT is well positioned to keep paying its dividend to preferred shareholders, which today yields about 8%. And then on top of that, I see three catalysts that could unlock up to 30% upside potential in the coming years. The first catalyst relates to the fundamentals of the company. They are consistently selling office properties, buying industrial properties with these proceeds, all while also deleveraging the balance sheet. All of this should improve the market sentiment of the company in the coming years and reduce the gap between share price and its par value. Then the second catalyst relates to interest rates. The Fed is anticipated to cut them up to three times in 2024 and this should increase the value of all preferred equities. And then the third and final catalyst is a potential share repurchase program for the preferred shares of the company. Back in 2022, the company did one of those and this led the preferred share price to rapidly rise closer to par value. Back then, the management of the company made the following statement. We believe that with the current market volatility due to macroeconomic conditions, there is an attractive buying opportunity for a preferred stock. We believe using capital to repurchase our preferred shares at appropriate prices represents a favorable strategic use of our capital. Well, today their preferred shares are again trading at a similar discount to par and therefore I think that it's quite possible that they will again announce another share repurchase plan which could increase the value of the shares. So to recap here, you're getting an 8% dividend yield that's very well covered. The shares are trading at a 25% discount to par, which provides good margin of safety. And as all of this plays out in the coming years, we expect up to 30% upside potential as the share price recovers closer to its par value. Then the second opportunity that I have here for you are the Series A preferred shares of KKR Real Estate Finance Trust. They are also currently priced at a 25% discount to par and they're offering a 9% dividend yield. The market has priced it at such a high yield because this is a mortgage rate and mortgage rates are risky and facing headwinds at the moment. Increasingly many of them are now facing losses as more and more of their loans go into default. But this specific mortgage rate stands out in that 100% of its loans are senior secureds and most of them are backed by strong multifamily, industrial and life science properties. Therefore, I would expect them to suffer far fewer loan defaults in the coming years. The common equity is still too risky for me, but I think that the preferred stock is quite attractive given the large discount to par. 
it represents just about 5% of the total market capitalization. So there is significant asset coverage and its dividend coverage is also over seven times. The company also has no major debt maturities in 2024 or even 2025. And as such, it's not heavily impacted by the surge in interest rates. So what I think has happened here is that the market has overreacted. A lot of mortgage rates have a lot of exposure to the office sector. And so understandably, the market is concerned, but this is not the case of this specific rate. And yet it's now offering a 9% dividend yield, a 25% discount to par. And as it eventually returns to its par value, when interest rates are cut, it could unlock up to 30% upside potential. And then the third opportunity that I want to discuss here are the Series F, Prefectures of Arbor Realty Trust, which is yet another mortgage rate. Its preferred stock dropped recently after it was targeted by some short sellers. And as a result, it's now offering a 25% discount to par and paying an 8% dividend yield. The short sellers are arguing that the company is going to face significant losses in the coming years as many of its loans go into default. I agree with them that the company is going to face some losses in today's challenging environment. But where I disagree with them is that I think that the magnitude of these losses will be much smaller and not enough to heavily impact the preferred equity holders. The company just recently reported strong third quarter results and the management made the following comment. In summary, we had another great quarter and we believe our unique business model clearly demonstrates our ability to generate strong earnings and dividends in all cycles. He then added that we understand very well the challenges that lie ahead and we are very well positioned to manage through this cycle. He then even reaffirmed that the dividend of the common stock is safe, which is very reassuring for preferred shareholders, given that they're always paid in advance. Here's what they said about the dividend. We've produced earnings of 55 cents per share, which is well in excess of our current dividend, representing a payout ratio of about 78%. The dividend policy that we've implemented with our board of keeping such a wide disparity between our earnings and our dividends has provided us with a large caution and was very strategic knowing full well that we are entering a market dislocation. And we certainly could have raised our dividend again this quarter. So what they are essentially telling us is that their business is doing so well that they could have hiked their dividend, but they intentionally kept it stable to have more caution as they face losses in the coming quarters. And this is not just talk as the management of Arbor Realty Trust has made some very significant insider purchases over the past month, including even after the recent short report came out. I still think that the common stock of the company is risky and the short sellers may be even right and make money on their call. But as a preferred shareholder, I believe that the dividend of the preferred stock is sustainable and the stock is offering great value at today's share price. And finally, what makes this specific preferred stock uniquely attractive is that it's likely to get called back by October 2026. That's when its fixed rate is going to turn to a floating rate and based on today's share price, the yield would jump to 10%. That's very expensive for the REIT and therefore we predict that they are likely to call back the preferred equity, which would result in up to 30% upside for shareholders who buy today. So these were three preferred stocks that we are buying for 2024, but there are many others that we hold in our portfolio. Now, in case you want to access my entire portfolio, feel free to join Hired Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter for a two week free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And otherwise, once more, if you could please click the like button that really helped me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much in advance and see you at my next one. Bye bye.